Okay, I am on my teachertube.com homepage. Remember, you have to be registered. It is free to do so, but you have to register and log in to upload a video. So I'm on my home screen, and I come over here to click Upload. I get a drop-down menu, and I click on Upload Video. Now, when you get to this screen, you get the, you have to go through each of these fields. Now, I have already created an album by going to Create New Album. So when I click that, I've called it Barnes Class. And um, for this example, I'm going to put a vacation photo, or I should say video in. Um, call it Kids at the Park. And uh, this was something I already had on my computer, so it was easy to, uh, to get. And I'm just going to use the tag vacation. And um, now you, you, you need to put something in here. And I'm going to put in, uh, I'm just going to put in middle school. Um, and then I'm going to come down here and I don't need any of this. I'm going to make it public so people can see it. Um, I won't allow comments. Uh, I won't allow ratings. And uh, allow external sites to embed and I'll, I'll disable that. And that way even though it's public, um, nobody can really do anything with it. And now I'm going to click continue uploading and I'm going to browse for my file and uh, I know I have this in my picture file so I'm just going to come into my files and I'm going to go to pictures and uh, I have this in a uh, vacation folder from 2009 I'm going to click on that and I know it's in a subfolder called the park and there's the video and you notice it says size 62.2 uh, megs and uh, that's good because you can't go over 100 on teacher tube so I'm going to double click on that and uh, then I'm going to click upload and it looks like it's working and um, it could take a while uh, this is an, uh, an Avi file. Um, AVI files typically are a little bigger. They take a little longer to upload than other forms. You see the forms that you can put on um, uh, up here. Uh, MP4 is typically the best. Usually takes up the least amount of space and is usually the fastest. And again, as you can see, this can be long. Um, tells you the transfer speed. Gives you the estimated time left. You can see that kind of is moving around depending on the upload but uh, a little over three minutes here so this is probably going to be a five or six minute upload so you know you're going to want to click upload and then probably walk away from it so finally after the long wait as you can see I get a successfully uploaded your video will be reviewed by the teacher tube staff and displayed within 24 hours so I will click OK on that and then I am ready to go. Um, so after a while, I can come back the next day or so and get my video and um, look at it and see what it looks like on TeacherTube. And then if I wanted to embed it someplace or send it in a link, uh, I could do that as well. And that is how you upload. And you can see that it's pretty easy. So why don't you give it a try?